So as you were at the top of the table over in Scotland, as of course Celtic and Rangers kept up the heat at the top of the table. But what's going to happen next time around? We've got the latest round of games, and of course Dion standing by, coming at you next. That's right, folks. Back once again with another match prediction show. It's course match number 31 over in Scotland. And we'll get to that in one second. Of course, if you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe button to get your bag today. All things Scotland related, Baba Rose related, world football related. We're all here under our roof. And of course, yes, it is. Final whistle has gone, of course, in the Scottish Cup. And we've got some spicy games to talk about. We're going to have a little talk about that with Dion in just a second. Of course, before that, smash your thumbs up. Check out the links, of course, and a big shout out to the Patreons, of course. So, Celtic over the line, of course, in the Scottish Cup. And they've, of course, got a, 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 a better rival uh, waiting for them in the semi-finals. Of course, one of those Scottish teams, or one of those Glaswegian teams, will make it to the final. Of course, will it be your boys? Mm -hmm. Uh, what are you thinking about that? The draw. Uh, I, you know, I'm I'm very surprised that uh, Celtic and Rangers are drawn for the uh, for the semifinals. Uh, I watched the Celtic uh, first half today. Watched the first half of the game against uh, Dundee United, and they kind of they kind of struggled, but didn't. Uh, possession was pretty good. Uh, Colin McGregor's goal was pretty nice. Uh, it was a nice take. I can't believe that no one on Dundee United marked him. Um, off of the uh, corner kick. So I, I think that it'll be a good matchup. I mean, it's, you know, one and two in the table against each other in the, you know, the Scottish Cup there in the semifinals. So it'll be good, but I obviously I'm going to pull for Celtic to go through to the finals. Uh, either way, either way, it'll be, a, it'll be a tasty one as well. I think I think I did, uh, looking at the team, I, th I did have a quick look at the team for Celtic. It, well, it seemed a lot of the key players weren't involved, so it might have been, they might have taken it a little bit easy. Uh, for this game but uh but either way it should be good and yeah um yeah we'll, we'll we'll talk about that as we get closer to the final but before all that we're going to bring you bang up today with of course how we both got on and how you guys got on as well with the predictions so let's recap those results and i had a quick look earlier and i think i did all right so we will uh hang on a minute where is it where is it where is it i've got to switch this up a minute here uh why can't i see that get that off we want to see this one. Nope, not that one. We want to see that one. There we go. So here we go there. Let's take a look at those games last time around. So Dundee United against Hearts, of course, end up as a 2-2 draw in the end. Dio went with a 2 nil win. I went with a draw, so I'm taking that point, of course, to the bank. Uh, that's right. Hibs against St. Johnson. Now, whether I got this one wrong, it was a 0-0 draw in the end. Uh, both of us backed Hibs on that one. I went with a 2-1 and Dio went with a 1-0 win, uh, but well, both of us got it wrong. Uh, Livingston against uh, Celtic was a 3-1 win was the result. Two 2-1, Dion, of course, on that one. 2 nil for me. He was a little bit closer. Uh, so, But both of us predicted the right result in the end. Of course, the right points. The points went the, the right way. Uh, we're, we're moving forward. Motherwell against Dundee was a draw. 1-1 one, one in the end. Point goes to Dion on this one. He picked up a draw. Uh, and I went with the 1-0 win for Motherwell. So even Stevens, of course, here. Uh, right here, right now, over the Zoom. Uh, but, of course, it's going to get a little bit spicy as we get to the end of these ones here. Three left to go. Uh, Rangers against Aberdeen. Uh, it was a 1-0 win for Rangers. Uh, uh, Dion went with a 3 I went with a 2-0. Uh, we all backed up, of course, Rangers. Of course, we did. That's the smart move. Uh, and moving into the final two, Ross County against St. Mary. It was a 1-0 win for Ross County. Dion went with a draw. I went with a win for Ross County. So that's me in the front there. I've got, I've got, I've got to win one time. He's won like two in the bounce so far. But uh, can he win it? Can he snatch it at the death here? Dundee against St. Mary. It was a 1-0 result. 2-2 for Dion. 2-1 for me. Yes. Yes. Finally, finally, I, I, I get a bit of bragging rights. Uh, but of course, Dion's been on a, a nice bit of streak, of course. But anyway, let's uh, take a look at how everybody else got on in a second. This is the table right now, I believe. Yes, it is. Celtic, of course, three points clear of Rangers. Um, yeah, and of course, looking quite comfortable as well. And, and again, it's it's getting close to the to the point where it breaks off the top six and the bottom six down the foot of the table. Hang on a minute. Get back, get back, get back, get back. And of course, down the foot of the table, uh, we do have, uh, it's Dundee going down at the moment. St. John's, of course, still there. Aberdeen still, they're actually 10th at the moment, but it is getting very, very spicy. Ross County, all the way up to sixth. They've moved, of course, crazy stuff over the past couple of weeks. They are the form team to avoid. Uh, let's take a look at, of course, the Prediction League. Here it comes. And, of course, I don't know how many we got, to, like, individually, but uh, uh, Russell Frost got six. So six out of seven. That's pretty impressive there. I give him, like, 90-odd uh, percent, I think, on that one. Well done to you. 
Give them a round of applause. Of course, kicking off over to the mini leaderboard. Of course, who's kicking ass on that one? It's Shane O'Donnell, 37 points. And so J350. Oh, great. He's got 37 points as well. That's the state of play there. Next time you see us, Dion is going to be running the show. But, of course, we're going to we're gonna be bringing you bang up to date with the Prediction League, Master League, and all that kind of stuff. And the Predictor of the Month Award. He's, you know, don't worry, don't worry about it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, Dion. You've got this covered. Uh, so, I'll be there, though. I'll still be there. Don't worry about it. So, this is the link. Cutley Forshaw, Scott, get it amongst it. Get your name in lights. And, of course, now we're back both again. We've got our own picks. We're going to give you the, the numbers, the stats, and, of course, give you a bit of something to, to look into. So, get ready. Dion standing by. Aberdeen against Hibbs over at Potodri coming at you this coming Saturday. It's been a bit of a break from the Scottish football, or primary fo Premier, Premier League football, anyway, with the Scottish Cup taking uh, focus. But, anyway, Aberdeen against Hibbs at, at Potodri. 96 times they've played each other since 1994. 42 wins for Aberdeen, 30 wins for Hibs, and 24 draws. However, Aberdeen coming to this under, of course, new management or recent management anyway, uh, and, and that's James Goodwin. Of course, 25% form for them, haven't won the last 10. Hibs, though, unbeaten in the last six, of course, picking up three wins and three draws, 75% form for them at the moment. Of course, last time on the page of the at Potodri, that's over in Aberdeen, was back in October, and it was a 1 0 win for Aberdeen. They also played each other in Edinburgh back in, of course, December. It was a 1 0 win for Hibs as well. Uh, so, uh, three wins for Aberdeen uh, over the course uh, against uh, Aberdeen over the last four games. So they, they like playing against them, it looks like. Aberdeen did lose to Rangers, though, uh, the last time that they played. Of course, Hibs beat Motherwell in the Scottish Cup quarterfinals to make it through to the semi-finals to take on their own uh, city rivals, of course, Hearts, and that would be the other semi-final. Of course, the odds on this one, 23-20 is your Aberdeen, 11-5 is your draw, 23-10 is your uh, your Hibs on this one, standing by, hopefully. Uh, where are you? There you are, is Dion. What you got for this one, then, Dion? On this one, I, you know, Aberdeen, you know, they do have a new coach and everything, but I, I still think it's going to take them time to get in the groove of things. I think Hibbs come out with a one nothing win on this one. one nothing win for Dion. I think I've gone the same way. I've gone, no, 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 I've, no I've gone with the surprise. I've gone with the surprise one here. Against my, 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 against my dad's team here. Going with Aberdeen with a 2 one win. Surprise, surprise. I've got to win this somehow. Uh, so let's kick it off what it is. Back to Dion's boys. It's Celtic up against Ross County. Of course, one of the informed teams. Uh, uh, but of course, Celtic are also pretty informed themselves. They're both actually coming to this identical form. 75% form for both of these two sides. 1-3. 1-3. Uh, uh, the last... Uh, well, three on the spin, actually, for both sides of so, so, so fans here. Uh, of course, Celtic, they'll have won 22 of the 33 games they've played each other since 2004. Five wins for Ross County and six draws, of course. Celtic, though, coming to this, uh, beating Ross County last time around in Glasgow back in, of course, September. It was a 3 0 win. However, they also played each other over at Ross County. That was a 2 1 win for Celtic back in December. Of course, Celtic with a, two, a 3 0 win over Dundee United today. Hot off the press. And, of course, uh, Ross County picked up a 1 0 win over St. Mirren last time around. In fact, back to back wins for them, back to back clean sheets uh, for them, uh, looking very, very strong. Heading into this one, though, of course, it is Celtic. They are table toppers. They are six to one on for the victory. Six to one is your draw. Sixty to one is your long shots. That's Ross County. Any surprises here? Do you think, Dion? I don't think so. You know, uh, Celtic have sixteen clean sheets. They're top of the the league with that, with sixteen. And I got a feeling they're going to make it seventeen with this game with a two to nothing win over Ross County. Two to nothing win over Ross County. That's picked from the the, the soccer nerd guy. Did I say that right? Nerdy soccer guy, sorry. That's my old uh, dyslexia kicking in. Nerdy soccer guy has gone with the two new ones. So am I as well. Uh, so again, there's details to his channel is in the description. I want to make sure I get that in there. Uh, so make sure you check that badger out. Of course, kicking off always Dundee. They're going to be locking ones with Rangers. That'll be on Sunday, March the 20th, of course. Uh, Dundee in a bit of trouble. Rangers also need to keep up the heat. Uh, Played other 41 times in 1998. Four wins for Dundee, 31 wins for Rangers, and six draws, of course. Dundee, though, coming to this, haven't won the last six games. 17% uh, form up against the Rangers side. One four on the bounce, of course. However, coming into this one, last time they played each other over in Dundee, uh, in the league, it was back in September 2021. Of course, the Rangers with the one near win. They also played each other just yesterday or today, even uh, in the uh, in the Scottish Cup quarterfinals. Three to win it was for Rangers as well. Uh, over the last uh, four times they've played each other, uh, Rangers have come out uh, without conceding a goal, winning four on the bounce. Of course, with it uh, scoring eleven goals without return. Uh, Dundee, though, of course, uh, losing last. Uh, they, basically, they're playing each other again. They just played each other. It was a three 0 loss and Rangers came out on top uh, for this one. The odds, though, for this, Dundee, of course, 91 for the Richie, 10 to 3 on is your Rangers, 4 to 1 is your long shots. Red Hot Rangers at the moment, Red Hot by the bookies. What do you think for this one? Any surprises, you, you imagine, on this? Uh, no, I don't think so, but I, I think it, it's not going to be as brutal as the last game, that 3 to nothing, 
you know, win for Rangers, but I, I do believe that Rangers win this two to one. Two to one. He's backing. He's getting him, giving him a goal on that one. Uh, for me, I'm going to go with a at one nil in Rangers, but we're both going the same way again on this one. Kicking off forward, we've got Hearts up against Livingston. That's right again. Hearts also in the Scottish Cup semi-finals. They'll take on Hibs. Of course, they were hot in action. We'll tell, tell you about that in a minute. Now these two sides will take place at Tyne Castle on Saturday, uh, the 19th of March, I believe. Uh, 34 times they played just in 2001. 19 wins for Hearts, seven wins for Livingston, and eight draws. Just one defeat. At the past six for how Hearts right now, 75% form. Uh, up against the uh, Livingston side, of course, just one defeat the past four for them, uh, 50% form for them at the moment. Of course, last time they played each other uh, in 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 uh, Edinburgh in the league was a 3 0 win for Hearts back in September. The reverse fixture at the Tony Macaroni Stadium was, of course, a 1 0 win for Hearts as well. They also played each other in the Scottish Cup, but that was way back in the fifth round. It was, of course, the uh, t uh, 12th of Feb, and it was a 4 3 win. Goals galore in that badger as well. Of course, Hearts coming to this on them another uh, Scottish uh, Cup result, beating St. Mirren 4 2. Again, that's that was tonight, and of course, Livingston did lose to Celtic last time they played uh, in in competitive action. That was in, of course in the in the Premiership. The odds for this one: what do you got? Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, Hearts eleven to eight on for the Richie thirty to five issue draw. Seven to two is your away when That's Livingston. What's your going on this one? Dion for this one. On this one, uh, I think there's going to be five goals scored in this, and I think Hearts are going to win three to two against Livingston. Goals galore from Dion on this one down at uh, at Edinburgh. I've gone with a th I've gone with a two to win myself. Bit more, a bit more uh, box standard victory, but uh, uh, hopefully it's more like Dion's with goals are plenty. Kicking on for we have the Super Jays taking on Motherwell coming at you on uh, Saturday, the March the nineteenth as well. Now these two sides have played each other sixty eight times in nineteen eighty seven. Twenty eight wins for Saint John's and twenty nine wins for Motherwell and eleven draws. Just one win though with the last six for Saint John's and thirty three percent form. Up against the Motherwell side, also one win in the last six. However, over forty. 2% form for them at the moment, of course, over the last six. Now, the last time they played each other over at uh, McDermott Park, it was a, uh, what was it? It was a 1-1 draw. That was back in August this uh, this season. Meanwhile, they also played each other at Motherwell. Uh, that was the reverse fixture back in December. It was a 2 to win for Motherwell on this one. Uh, kicking on forward, though, St. Johnson picked up a draw against Hibs. Last time they were in action, that was, of course, in the Premier League a couple of weeks ago. Uh, meanwhile, Motherwell did lose to Hibs tonight, of course, and they crashed out to the cup uh, at the expense of my my dad's boys. That's, of course, Hibs. The odds on this one, then, when we got Super Jays 5-4 for the 21 to 10 is your draw 23 to 10 is your away when that's Motherwell of course Motherwell coming at uh, yeah, in around about 8 St. Johnson down in 11th in the league but where does Dion I think this one will go uh, with this one Motherwell has not kept a clean sheet in the last 10 games but I think they do it here with a win, one nothing against St. Johnston. 1-0 on the road. So Motherwell with the big W on that one, moving up the table. They would go, I've gone with a 1-0 the other way. St. Johnston hopefully get the W. So we'll see. One of us has got to get that one right. Or it's going to be a draw. We both get it wrong. And then finally, we have St. Mirren up against uh, Dundee uh, United. Of course, that'll kick us all off on, on uh, Saturday, March the uh, 19th as well. Now, these two sides have played each other. According to my eyes, 54 times since the year 2000. 12 wins to St. Mirren, 26 wins to Dundee United, and 16 draws. Just one win in six. So for St. Mirren right now, uh, of course, that was a couple of games back. Meanwhile, Dundee United uh, also won in a six, 42% form for them, but drawing a lot of games in the process. Last time they played each other over in St. Mirren, it was a nil-nil draw back in September. The reverse fixture, though, and Dundee United at Tannadice was a 2-1 win for St. Mirren. That was back in, of course, January. Uh, Dundee United losing the Celtic tonight, of course, and uh, St. Mirren losing the Hearts tonight as well in the Scottish Cup. Those, those were the last games that they were both in action. The odds for this one, though, what have we got on this one? We have uh, St. Mirren 13-10 for the W. Of course, 21 to 10 is draw. 20 out of 10 is also your away win on here. So quite tight on the bookies. Is it tight with Dion? What do you expect? Uh, it is going to be a tight one. I think it's going to be similar to what it was the last time they played at St. Marion, and I think it's going to end up in a one-to-one -one draw instead of a zero-zero draw. One-one draw. He's going for goals on that one. Myself, I've also gone with a one-one draw as well. So back your boys on that one. It's going to be a point. Point to the bag. That's, of course, our predictions. Make sure you get your own predictions in as well. It's Cutley Forshaw Scott. And again, make sure to check out his Dion's channel. The link is in the description. Uh, and hopefully the next time you see us, uh, it'll be uh, Dion running the show. If I can, where's my where's the main screen? There it is. He'll be back, of course, uh, next time. Of course, international break and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'll be there though. I'll be holding his hand for the first one. But uh, yeah, this will be exciting. Give him a chance to flex his muscles and showcase what he's got. But anyway, until then, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for, for stepping out. Make sure to check out Dion's channel, uh, Nerdy Soccer Guy, in the old description. Until then, uh, we are done for this one. I'll see you soon for the next one.